folks, Schneider here. No fancy editing right now because uh, Alicia and I are on our way to yet another premiere. This is a uh, Christmas car. So tonight we're going to a wonderful old theater. I'm going to be showing it tonight for a couple hundred people. And I'm very, very excited about that. We've been traveling all around doing that. And it's so great to see this movie on the big screen. So we've done it in brand new movie theaters like the Celebrity Theater in Baton Rouge. And also now we, uh, we've done some wonderful old places like the Oldham in Winchester, Tennessee. Anyway, a uh, quick little bit of business before I get to the five new questions that you've been asking about the General League. Okay, um, if you are planning on ordering Christmas cars, the movie, the DVD, do it now. Okay? I want you to do it now because we're getting closer and closer to Christmas and we only have so many elves. And I think we have to reorder, we have to restock. So if you're gonna order, and I don't know why you wouldn't, it is just quite simply, as far as everyone is saying, uh, not just me, it is the best tribute to the style, flavor, pace, and heart of the Dukes of Hazard that you are ever, ever going to see, of course, until we make another one. So there it is, little business, go to John Schneider. I'll put a link in the bottom. You can either buy the DVD or you can uh, you can download it uh, off of our website. I'll put both links down there. But if you're thinking about getting it, and why wouldn't you be thinking about that, get it now. Okay, bam. Um, wheel size on the General Lee. There's a discrepancy about the wheel size. Some people say 14, some say 15. Well, I'll tell you, I have bought, and I think I had 16s on my uh, Bose General Lee with the 511 Hemi. And I had to do a little work on the wheel wells. Yes, I had to go in behind the wheel wells and I had to take that little lip out, which made it a little floppy. But I did that because I wanted to have bigger tires on the car. Now, I also, way back in the good old days, I had a uh, the 440 that I bought and sold back to Warner Brothers um, did have 14 inch tires on it. So it must have been an option. Now, I'm no longer going to say anything about uh, this car came with this because obviously I've been wrong on several occasions. I never ever saw a 1968 without a passenger mirror. And of course, we never had one on the General Lee. If we had one on the car that was made into the General Lee, then that was taken off, okay? So we had 14s and 15s and then I had 16 later. That's also because uh, it wasn't a choice. It just had to do with the rims that we had. Whatever rims we had, the tires went on the rims. And correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you will, um, I believe these were five, five lug nut wheels. So when they jumped the car, many times the, uh, the biggest problem was not getting a new car. The biggest problem was getting another set of those rims. Yeah. So the rims were, were actually, at that point, they were very hard to, to come across. So we had all three. Um, we had 14s, we had 15s, and I personally had 16. Okay, engine size. There is no specific size. I do not ever remember seeing a, a flat six. Uh, a slant six. I, I don't remember ever seeing a six in any of our General Lees. I would imagine that would be a very rare car. Um, but I know we had 318s. We had 383s. We had 340s. 340 Magnums. 440s. And 440 Magnums. Now, my understanding is that the stunt guys, 440 was great because you could get down the road and, and get the speed you needed, but it was a problem because the engine was so heavy they had to put more weight in the trunk. 318s were great. 318s kind of like a 427. You can wind it up and uh, you don't have any issues with it, but they still had to put a little bit of weight in the trunk with the 318 to offset. But with a 440, they had to put a lot of weight back there. That was a heavy, heavy motor. Okay, so those are the kinds of motors we have, all different different size engines. Here's something, people got after me and said, how come your doors aren't welded shut on your General Lee? Well, think about it. If your doors are welded shut, you can't close the windows unless you're inside, then you can't get out, right? So you can't lock your car. Number two, we only had one General Lee ever 
in the history of filming the Dukes of Hazard where the doors were actually welded shut and the Teamsters, who actually are the folks that had to get in and out of the car more than us every day, day in and day out, hated it. Now, my memory tells me that was the car that I bought. That was the 440 car that had the 14-inch rims on it that I bought and sold to Warner Brothers. Guess what car was on the barge I told you about in the other video that they finally wound up letting go into the lake? That was that car. Because the doors were welded shut. They didn't want to have anything to do with that car again. Yes, of course, they could have unwelded the doors. But it was a statement. So, no. Your General Lee is not incorrect if the doors are not welded shut. Because ours never were, except one time. And that didn't work out so well for dear old General Lee. Um, the horn. People ask about the horn. You can get the horn at J.C. Whitney. Now, I don't know why many of them are out of tune. We have one on this motorhome, and it's a little out of tune. The one on my car is in perfect tune. But we did not have horns on the General Lee. We, uh, Paul Picard bought that, that horn set. We put it on the one car, and then they took what we call an insert of it. They filmed it because uh, people were saying we saw the uh, we saw the horn set in the show well if you saw the horn set in the show it was because they did an insert shot and they would use that shot over and over kind of like they would use uh, my yeehaw over and over because of course except in Christmas cars the person jumping the General Lee was not me nor was it Tom so the yeehaw, yeehaw was put in yeehaw was put in afterwards so, many times in the Dukes, you'll see an insert of an engine. There's one show, somebody tell me which one it was. Um, we had a purple uh, Challenger, I think, that had two offset scoops on the front, which were crooked because they were just screwed. They were screwed to it. What kind of a motor would that be that had two offset carburetors? Two offset, uh, probably 840 double pumpers, Hollies. What kind of a car would that be, or what kind of a motor would that be? Also, there was one where we had a shot where there was a, uh, a picture of the motor inside the General Lee that had a blower on it, and then I closed the hood. How can that be? So we did utilize inserts a lot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a uh, I'm gonna add a uh, bonus question here before I get to number five. Okay. How can you squeal tires on dirt? Well, if you ask that question, then you must not live on dirt. If you live on an old dirt road that's been packed over decades and decades, it's like asphalt. You absolutely, positively can squeal tires on a dirt road. If you don't think it's possible, go out and try it. So for those of you who've been saying, well, you know, you can't squeal tires on a dirt road, I call BS to that, because I've done it. So there, okay, number five. What color is the General Lee? When we first did the show, Warner Brothers had no idea that the show was going to last past the first five, or past the first one, really. So they grabbed whatever color they could. It was orange. But it was not any specific orange. We have a paint department at Warner Brothers. So they grabbed every color they could and they made up as much paint as they needed to paint the three cars we started with. Okay? So that color doesn't really exist. So then later, as we were painting them, they matched that color. There are folks that say it's hugger orange. There are folks that say it's a Corvette color. There are folks that say it's a something red. <clears throat> but I'm here to tell you, the general lead that we used, all 280 or 300 of them, were all painted by a mishmash of colors put together at Warner Brothers. Or when we were elsewhere, like Georgia, when we needed to fix it up, they matched it as best they could to the paint that was on the car. Okay? Now, 
you will see a lot of cars, General Lees, that are a very, uh, I don't have anything here like it, a very like burnt, washed out orange. Now, when Wayne Wooten came and got the, uh, I don't know if it's 13 or 16 Chargers in the Values A's uh, out of Saugus after they'd been sitting for a decade or so, um, they had the original cars, so they assumed that was the original color. And yes, it was the original color, but it had been sitting outside in California for a decade. So it was faded. And I know, if you go look at any of the uh, the Bose Extravaganza pictures, or you look at any of the, uh, the Duke's Fest pictures, invariably you will see a couple of General Lees that are much lighter than the rest of them. That's because they match the paint color to ones that were sitting outside in the California sun for at least 10 years. Okay. All right, guys, girls, folks, I hope that that, uh, that helped you. I love the fact that you're asking these questions. It sure makes it easy for me to figure out what the next video is going to be. Uh, next time I'm going to answer a couple Smallville questions. So if you've got any of those, uh, send them my way. Remember, if you want to get Christmas cars, get it now, get it now, get it now. Um, that way we know exactly how many to order. I promise you're going to love it. Promise, promise, promise. Uh, and while you're at it, get two or three because you're going to want to give it away as Christmas presents. All right, I'm John Schneider. You take care. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Tell a friend or 12 to do the same, and I will see you down the road. Yeehaw!